project was all about uh, digitally reconstructing the entire skeletal assembly of an Apatosaurus uh, uh, animal. Uh, it is the first of its kind in the world, uh, never been done before, but I believe uh, that this will be something, uh, uh, a future process in how uh, reconstruction techniques will be uh, applied in the future for all skeletal assemblies. We had some bones that were available, and some of those bones uh, had to fit a certain profile of a baby Apatosaurus, and then we had a big Apatosaurus to scan. So we scanned the big Apatosaurus, used CAD technologies to try and scale down that into a smaller uh, apatosaur, baby Apatosaurus, uh, and try to create and fit the existing bone structure to the to the current bone structure which we envisage or, or, or thought of. Having a 3D model allowed us to do animation. You could possibly uh, study its biomechanic analysis. You could do uh, things on a com or simulate things on a computer that you would not normally be able to do so with a real virtual uh, with a real physical uh, specimen. All right. So one of the first pieces of equipment that we've used uh, to reconstruct the, uh, the some of the specimens that were collected by the museum way back in the 1940s is uh, a non-contact laser scanner. Uh, what you see here is a, a robotic arm uh, that's fixed on one end or completely movable on the other end. It almost held. Uh, a handheld uh, um, instrument uh, where it has a laser, the laser will strike a particular object, uh, for example a bone specimen here, the laser will come, strike it against the model, come back and then we're able to get a physical or a virtual uh, point cloud model of uh, a particular physical object. So, um, so once we have the uh, virtual model, where basically it's a point cloud model of the physical object, you then take it to this computer screen here, where you then process all of those point cloud into uh, a 3D model. One cool thing about having a virtual model of the skeletal assembly is that the museum staff can check for the entire assembly before it's even laid out on the exhibit floor. That is something that is a really powerful uh, feature of having a 3D model. One of the third systems that we have used in um, and this reconstruction process is known as a force feedback uh, device or a haptic system. Uh, remember the, the museum staff had collected only 15% of the bone and we had to come up with the rest, uh, rest of the bone assembly. And so one of the systems that we have used here is a force feedback system where you could virtually handle or manipulate uh, clay, virtual clay. Um, and here is a force feedback device that is mostly like a pen but I can physically touch feel the surface of uh, the bug, so I could use uh, modeling tools and sort of enhance, use it, uh, enhance its uh, uh, beak or I could take its antenna and sort of wiggle it around or twist it around in ways that I do not have to use a mouse but I use a regular, I uh, use uh, an advanced uh, uh, input device. Uh, using force feedback devices allows you to sort of create extremely complex shapes um, in a much more rapid and uh, easy to use.